Hey guys, Kerry Werner, Bike Flight's brand ambassador here with another helpful video, this time showing you how to take photos of your bike or box ahead of your next shipment. Right, so why is a bike shipping company concerned with photos? Well, photos of your bike or box are essentially your ticket into the express lane for claims resolution should a shipment become lost or damaged. While it is rare, loss or damage sometimes does happen. For example, when a label gets ripped off or falls off your box or case while in transit, it turns into a lost shipment. Photos of your box or case help bike flights work with the carrier to get your shipment found and back on track. In the event of damage, Photos show what condition your bike was in before and after shipping and document your pro packing job. But I know y'all already know how to pack your bike because you've watched all of my previous videos, right? Okay, so here's how it works. It's easy and you can simply use the phone in your pocket. We'll look at the specifics of pre-shipping and post-delivery photos. But a general rule of thumb is to take photos in good light. A photo isn't very helpful if you can't see clearly what's in it. Before you start packing, take photos of your bike to identify specifics and to document its condition. Then during the packing process, take some more photos, ideally just before you put your bike in your box or case, when you have it all wrapped up like a Christmas present with pipe foam. Put your protected bike into your box or case and grab a few more photos showing how you placed your bike in your box or case how you pat it around, and how you secure loose items so they can't move around during shipment. As a reminder, or just in case you didn't already know, securing the loose items such as removed handlebars, wheels, pedals, seat and seat post, rotor bolts, bottle cages, and other accessories removed during packing will ensure they won't move around relative to each other inside your box or case and cause damage. It's time to take some photos of your bike all packed up in its box or case. Once your box or bag is all zipped, clipped, or taped up, take photos at different angles to capture each side and make sure you get the label in one of them. On the post-delivery side of things, take note of any changes to your box or case during shipping, which may include holes, indentions, markings, or even tape that was added during the shipping process. These could all be indicative of damage inside your box or case. However, most of the time, it's just your box or case taking the impact and doing the job it's supposed to do. Once you open your box or case, you'll wanna grab photos that document any specific damage such as cracks, broken items, missing items, etc. If you're like most shippers who don't experience loss or damage, you can simply delete all these photos once your shipment is complete and you've got your bike built and you've taken it for a spin. However, if your shipment was lost or damaged, you should immediately reach out to Bike Flight's customer support team to submit a claim and include those photos. Again, these photos are crucial in making sure your claims process is as worry-free and fast as possible. Give this video a like, and for more helpful packing and shipping related videos, subscribe to the Bike Flight's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.